Taurus, thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes here with your reading. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Martians, Astronauts. Pick a node. It does not matter to me. I love you all. Cross Watchers, I am a snitch. I'm telling you now. Please don't curse me in the comments. Love you too. Taurus, this is a judgment-free zone, but you will hear the truth. There's no gender or age, only energy. You're going to hear me use terms he, she, her, him, they, them, it, heifa. Pay it no mind. Feel the energy. Remember, roles can always be reversed. Taurus, I thank you. Like, share, subscribe, emails, comments, love tokens, donations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I thank you again. Absolutely. All right, Taurus, let's talk about your energy. Um, I know lately it seems that your readings have been a bit heavy, okay? And um, I know a lot of you are just tired. You know, I, I've been saying it for a while. I've, I still feel it in your energy. Just a fatigue, a fatigue of round and round, you know, fatigue of here we go again. When is it my turn? I don't mind, you know, ups and downs, but why does it have to down be so low? You know, it's like all kinds of things in this energy. So I have to say that um, some of you, you've just reached the point where you're limp, like your body is just limp. Your body is numb. And um, I, I just want to send you like the biggest Nana's titties hug that I have. Um, you know, that one that just grabs you as an adult. There's a Nana's titties when you're a child that you bury yourself in because your body is little. But then sometimes you need that as an adult. And that's the one when you kind of lean over into that person's chest and your leg, uh, I'm sorry, your arms are just limp and dangling to the side and they just hold you, you know, I want to send you one of those as an adult and so that you can just release this. Okay. Um, it's time. If you need an ugly, nasty, snotty cry, then arrange it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Arrange it. Uh, make a time and space for it in your day so that you can release some of this energy. It feels like I, 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 like it's trapped so deep inside that for some of you, it's like, I want to cry, but I can't, you know? So, you know, have that moment and, and, you know, your private prayers and meditation. If you can, if that cry comes up, let it out. Okay. Now, um, others of you, you were just past that point literally, I mean, like a step past that point. So here is where we need intentions. It's not more so of what are we going to do tomorrow, next year, how are we going to fix this? It's more so like, let's regroup. Okay. Let's regroup. Let's gather yourself. You know, if you say, and listen, I gave that to God is nothing I can do. Then, then regroup. Let's Put these pieces of yourself back together to at least have allow you to feel whole again before you can tackle um, externally things that are going on in your life. All right. So we're pulling from the Psychic Tarot Oracle and see if we can get some assistance with this energy. Can I have Taurus, please? Please and thank you. Taurus, please. Scorpio's here. Look at it. See, you're tired. Look at that. Conflict and defeat. You're tired. Scorpio's here. Why is Scorpio here? Um, some of you may just be processing this as a, what is a tower? A tower moment. That would be Scorpion energy. 
Yeah. But tower moments are divine intervention. You know, it may take blood, sweat, years, and tears to build a tower, um, but lightning strikes it and tears it down, and that absolutely hurts. But believe me, the tower was built either on a faulty foundation or it was blocking your path and you were meant to go further. You understand? So it does happen for a reason. Um, the conflict and defeat is that feeling of like literally what it me, uh, reads. It's like no matter what I do, no matter what I say, no matter what I think, I just keep getting shut down. You know, I keep getting shut down. And this is a space where your mind is just exhausted from constantly, constantly, constantly fighting, you know? So it's time to relax. We, we gotta, you gotta let the either, if, like I said, if that cry is in you, then cry, okay? There's nothing wrong with it. It's very therapeutic. Um, release toxins in your body. It releases trauma in your body. You even burn a couple calories releasing water. Okay. It's very therapeutic. Be, have no shame. You know what I mean? If that's what you need to do, then do it. All right. Um, but other than that, then, like I said, with the waiting game coming in, a lot of you are kind of just past that cry point. So it's more so like, now what? But I don't want you to think like, now what? I want you to kind of, in this moment, rebuild the wholeness of yourself independently, individually. Get Let's get the mind clear, you know? Let's get the shoulders back again. Let's get that heart flowing again, all right? Um, let's get these emotions regulated so we can get those legs moving when it is time to make a move. But Right now, what this is showing is that uh, what's for you in the future is still in the works. You understand? So in the mean and in between time, it's kind of like, uh, go. Uh, how can I say that? Um, help me with my words. Help me with my words. Um, kind of like when uh, a person has sat down, you don't want to sit down too long. You, you kind of like want to... Oh, help me with my words. You you know how people got to get up and, you know, move their legs to get their blood flowing. You know what I'm saying? That's what you want to do. You don't want to sit and wallow or, you know, you want to kind of like move your body around and get your blood flowing to get yourself. So when it is time, like getting off a plane, there you go. We've been sitting for a long time, you know, and it's like when you stand, your legs are like, thank you. You know what I'm saying? to get your body going. We all kind of get up and then move our legs a little bit, shake a little bit, stretch, okay? Do things like that to help you because this is, yeah, this is gonna be a re, um, not remolding, um, reshaping, I guess I could say it like that, you know, with um, you getting yourself whole. I, like, I, I really... I wish I had the words for some reason I'm struggling with my words with this energy, but I hope you understand, you know, pretty much what I'm saying with that, like re, um, positioning yourself or, you know, getting yourself to a strong, because this is going to be a build from, from the bottom. Remember the tower fell. So there's a rebuild happening within you, you know, now with your base chakra, this is earth energy. This is literally earth energy. This is the energy of what you're standing on, what you have, you know, not what you want, not what you need, what you're working with, what is the meat and potatoes on the table, okay? Oh, we're losing our light here. Oh, I'm losing everything. The voice connected. Oh, I'm sorry. Goodness gracious. My speaker kicking in. Okay, that's my sports speaker, y'all. Don't laugh at me. All right, so there's a rebuild here of what you have. You starting with the base, you, the, the foundation is being rebuilt in you. That's the thing. So it's not about uh, for a moment around, let's start in you rebuilding that foundation of base, working with what you have, and then going from there because your new beginning is going to start you at zero. And that's where you want to start. Okay, I know it sounds crazy, but the new beginning, it, it, for it to be new, it got to be brand new, right? 
I'm just saying. If it's going to be new, it got to be brand new. Zero is not a bad thing. That's what you want. You want to get down to zero and build from zero. Start from scratch. You know, this is a clean slate, but that means that your opportunities are endless. Okay. Endless. All right. Um, this is going to be mentally. Whew, Mentally, this is going to um, give you a run for your money. I'm going to say it like that. Okay? You're going to have a run for your money. You are. You always do. But at the same time, externally, for some reason, you know how I say to you guys, you come out of the mud uh, smelling like a baby's bottom, clean, like a, you know what I'm saying? Externally, there's still... You know, the something about you that is putting off that aura of, man, I just want to be like Taurus. I want uh, what Taurus has. Or, oh, I don't like Taurus because, you know, they uh, act like they're better than, you know. And they don't even know you suffer in silence. You know what I'm saying? But that's, I don't want to go into that. We're focusing on you today. So let's um, do your spread. Um, we're going to do light seers today. Can I have Taurus, please? And thank you. Taurus energy. Oh, my loves. Taurus. Usually by now you guys come out of this. This is a, this one has been lasting a, a minute. Can I have Taurus core? What's at the center? Nine of Pentacles, Page of Wands. Yep. See, independent. This is all about you. All about you. Doing things differently for you. Doing things new for you you know, uh, moving in a different direction for you, okay? This is pre-Empress energy, the Nine of Pentacles, extremely intuitive energy, all right? Um, she's enjoying the fruit of her labor. Again, what she has, what's on the table, what's been produced, what she worked for, you understand? This is an energy of leaning into divine timing, it's an energy of faith and patience. You know, this is an energy of saying, "You, God, whenever you're ready, I'm ready. Okay. In the meantime, I'm going to be here. All right. But I'm going to look good and smell good. And that way I'm ready when you're ready. You know, it's a, it's not an easy energy uh, for many people to hold on to, but Taurus, this is your cream or your crop because it's pre-empress. So it's actually in uh, the doorway of, uh, an access of access to, to going into the, uh, full empress or, or emperor energy. You understand what I'm saying? So we're learning new ways to be the best you and look at that independent and success and fulfillment. See you independently are fine. That's the thing. But because you represent the divine, you have a lot of trials and tribulations that you and I, honestly, I'm, now that I've been doing this for a few years now, I know it feels like it's like this is just not fair. This matter of fact, this is not even normal. Let's just call it, you know, this is not normal. OK, but because you represent the divine, you represent the energy that we're trying to obtain you're representing the control that we're trying to obtain uh us as regular people you know um you represent the um uh, ability and authority of tapping into the creation from the creator you understand what i'm saying so because of these things yes you do go through okay because God knows you can come out of it and you're the one to do it. Crown this energy, please, for Taurus. What's crowning Taurus right now? Okay. The king. King of Wands. What's crowning you that you can that can help you right now? Focus. Passion. Um moving forward. Um uh, strength. 
you know, confidence, wholeness. The King of Wands and the Queen of Wands, even though they're a suited couple, just like all the other couples in the deck, but they're the only couple that don't need each other. They do not need each other. They want each other, but they don't need each other. You understand? Th that's just like an emperor and empress. Same thing. Because of the embodiment, you understand? of the kings for the emperor, the queens for the empress. They want each other. It's not a need. That's how the king of wands and the queen of wands is as well. This is marriage material from the top of his head to the bottom of his feet. He don't need a queen to be a king. You understand? And you want to pull down from that energy, reminding yourself that as an independent, you are whole. As an independent you are fulfilled. As an independent, you are blessed. You understand? Um, and when you pull down from that, then you can do little things here and there um, to do something new, you know, to get out of this or to pass this time until this energy um, completes. Knight of Cups coming in with the king, you want to do it with love, loving on yourself and also being the example of what healthy love uh, looks like. Healthy love. There's a difference. You know it. There's a difference. Um, there she is right there. Yeah. Uh, some of you have just had a recent job change, um, career change. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. You, 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 you were let go. Okay. I'm not going to sugarcoat that. I'm sorry. Um, you were let go. And, um, you have a few options that are available to you and you're kind of looking for direction on what's for you. And um, reduce your options to two and choose from there. Reduce your options to two and then you'll get the understanding of what's best for you when you reduce it to two. Yeah, reduce it to two and then align yourself with what's best for you in every aspect. So we're talking the pay, we're talking the location, we're talking the hours, we're talking the benefits, you know, uh, put, put it all on the table, work with what you have, put it on the table, meat and potatoes. What's in the way for Taurus? Oh, okay, we don't do the floor. Let's, okay, you're tired. That's what's working against you the most right now. Because to be honest, Taurus, you've been through worse. I love you, but you know we talk here. Looking at this energy compared to how I feel in your energy, you feel, I feel like the, there's been, um, I don't know, a Richter scale of uh, um, 100 point 100. I'm pro I know I'm saying it wrong, but... Like everything is just devastatingly falling apart, but you've been through worse. Excuse me. Um, but it's affecting you differently now. I, I don't know. It's uh, emotionally, uh, it's just, yeah, it's it, your emotions, your heart is just exhausted. Ooh, exhausted. But for a lot of you, it's because you feel like you have no support. I had like, nobody loves me. Nobody cares. You know, that's why I came into this energy trying to give you a hug. Because <laughs> that's how I feel in your energy. And I hate that for you. I do. I hate that because I know that's the devil's confusion. But um, focusing on that is not going to, it, it's just going to slow you down in this process. You know, it really is. And I'm not saying that what you feel isn't justified. Um, what I'm saying is that it's not true, but it is justified. Some of you are really isolated. Uh, some of you really don't have a safe space right now to confide in, to rest in, uh, to lean on, you know, to um, uh, help you up if you fall. You know what I'm saying? Um, some of you don't. I'm not going to lie. But that doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. 
you know right now you're just not aligned with it because all of this has been about your individual development and you're looking for assistance in this process and this is this part of your journey is not supposed to be nobody there i'm not gonna lie i love you and i know that sounds absolutely insane but there is some parts of our journey where we think we're alone, but first of all, you know, God will never leave or forsake you. Um, but it's meant to be individual. It's meant for you individually. You, you know what I mean? It's, it's, um, feels like isolation, but it's separation for a reason, right? Isn't that what they say? Ooh, where's this, where's this coming from? The tower. That's what I was smelling when I was coming in, that scorpion energy. Something happened. Something and the, the crazy part is that, like, I know some of y'all had lost your job, but this tower feels internal. That's the thing. It's like one day, Taurus, you woke up and it was like a brick hit you up in your heart. You know, like, oh my God, woe was me. Woe was me. I'm tired. Woe was me. I'm hurt. Woe was me. I'm exhausted. Woe was me. You know, like, it, that's how this feels. And... It for with the Knight of Wands here, it's kind of like I don't know if you um recently had a rendezvous, I guess I can call it that, with someone that you maybe you maybe you like tried a job, you thought that was your dream job, and come to find out it was a crock of crap, or you tried to date somebody and you thought this might be a little something worth something, but it was a crock of crap, or you befriended somebody, you didn't let them know everything, but you wanted to give it a try because you ain't had no friends in a while, no new friends, and found out they were a crock of crap. Like, whatever the case, what that's how I feel with this tower. I feel like you tried to step out on faith and somebody kicked your foot and you fell. Do that make sense? That's how I feel in this energy. So when you fell this time, it's not even about the fact that, like I said, somebody kicked your foot because you've been kicked, you've been beat, you've been dragged. You know what I'm saying? But this time, it it's like you were in a, such a fragile state emotionally that for whatever reason, you can't get up like you used to, uh, you know, like you normally do. And that's why I think meat and potatoes uh, is where uh, God is meeting you in this part of your journey, this part of this experience, because whatever you are carrying, it has to go. This, the, for you to feel conflict and defeat, for you to feel exhausted, that means that mentally and emotionally, you are carrying every single battle. Um, you're holding the weight of every single battle. You're not releasing the last battle and preparing for a new battle. Whenever you get in that energy of here we go again, here we go again, here we go again, you're taking the old into the new. So instead of this being a battle uh, in front of you, like uh, the, for this part of your journey, it's more so this is a battle in addition to all of the battles that I've had. And when you carry that kind of weight, then yeah, it's get, it, 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 it gets heavy. You know, it really does. It gets heavy. Okay. Where are we going with this? Future energy, please, for Taurus. We're going silent. Knight of Swords reverse. Whew. Sun reverse. Seven of Swords reverse. We're definitely going silent. Let me say that. Um, I do feel like there is um, mental clarity coming by way of direction. So like I said, I think you have some opportunities coming in. Make sure you reduce it to two. Make your choice from there. I don't feel you're happy right here, of course, with the sun in reverse. I don't feel super duper excited about life, you know. Um, but yay, I walk right? I'm not going to fake this, Taurus. I'm not going to tell you that tomorrow you're going to, I don't know, live happily ever after and all your problems are going to disappear. I'm not going to tell you that. What I will say is that um, you will get mental clarity. 
You might not like your options, but there will be options. You're going to feel like it's unfair. You're going to be upset. Um, but it will be what you need when you need it. So don't think that you're alone. You're not. Your mana is right here. What you need when you need it to keep you going. Look at your reward. Every time. Every single time. As soon as you reach a space that you make peace with who you are and your role, here's your reward every time, okay? New job, new car, new house. Pentacles are tangible. This, you know, this is a new opportunity. This is something you can touch because that's what you want it. You want, I want to touch my blessing, right? Okay, that's what you get. Now, does that mean that everything happily ever after? No. You have a destiny. Stop looking for rest um, or vacation or um, help me with my words because that's not, that's not the words I want. The happily ever after doesn't mean that there's no work. That's what I want to say. It's not about rest and vacation. We all need those, right? But it's more so like in your energy, I'm feeling like all I have to do is this and then I can live like that. Like, uh, uh, you know, uh, trouble free, you know, things like that. And that's not how this works. This thing called life, this, this experience, the skin suit, that's not how it works. You are meant not to be... You are meant to be our examples of what it's like to tap in. So life throws you things that forces you to tap in to the universe, to the creator, because you're a direct connection. You understand? You know this. You know it and you protect it. You know life beats you, but you know it's worth fighting for. You know this. It's just that sometimes when you look at your time, your energy, and your effort, what is what what's coming out of this? Like, where is my fruit of the labor? You know, I planted these seeds. I planted 10 seeds. Seven of them are opening up. You know, it's time to harvest. Only one is edible. Three of them didn't even make it. So do I continue working on this? Or do I just start my business someplace else? Do I plant my seeds in another part of the ground? Maybe there's something wrong with this soil. You know, discernment is about really detailing um, every aspect of a decision uh, before you put more in. And that's what we're kind of looking at here. All right. I think this is what has a lot to do with that. Are you properly discerning where your emotions have been placed? Are you properly discerning um, how you're processing your emotions, okay? I, that's what I think you're getting in, out of this part of your journey. And intuitively, High Priestess Energy, you're being really, not swayed, were you soothed? Soothed, oh my God, this Four Swords feels so good. Soothed. It it feels like like a song, like a child you would sing to a baby to put them to sleep. The high priestess is bringing that in. Oh my God, I can't. Oh, hold on. Ooh, y'all gonna make me emotional and messing around with y'all. I feel like I'm being like swayed, not swayed. What's the word? Serenade, serenade. Like you know, go to sleep. Like one of those little little songs. There's a song. The high priestess is getting, and it's comforting. Oh, my Lord, I am not mature enough. <laughs> Taurus, I'm in my bag with that one. I ain't see that coming. Okay, so some of you are really kind of getting that from your maybe your angel, your ancestors, you know, holy and divine and obedient on the other side, assisting you in your journey, trying to assist you with peace, like it's going to be all right. You know, it's going to be all right. It's because see the four of swords, it's a, it's an energy of acknowledgement. 
um, with peace. You know, I know the world is crazy, but I know who holds my hand. You know, I know that hurt me in the past, but I know I got out of that situation. I know that person might talk crazy to me, but I know how to defend myself now in a proper way. You know, so that's the kind of piece of that four of swords energy. It's not a complete ignorance to people, places, and things. It, it's the acknowledgement of the power of the creator in you and the lessons that you've learned through your trials and tribulations and how you now know how to apply them, creating wisdom in your decisions, okay? So that when you do make new decisions, new moves, new choices, you're doing so from a whole place of love. And look at Nana's titties coming to save the day. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> Taurus, I love you guys so much. I swear I could spend a million hours on this energy. I feel so much love in this moment. <laughs> I don't know who is loving you, but Taurus, you are loved. Do you hear me? And I want to remind you of that today. You are loved. You are loved. You are loved. You are loved. Okay. Woo. All right. I'm going to leave this here. Guys, I hope this helps. Now, if any event, you said green eyes, listen, I, I don't even know you. You don't know me. This is not my life. I'm okay with that. Please check your moon or rising. Don't take the energy if it's not yours. Leave it here for someone else, okay? Everybody, thumbs up, subscribe. Make sure you guys are notified of future readings. It is free and it supports the channel. If you're interested in a personal appointment, I respond to email requests only. My email is perfectlyimperfecttarot at gmail.com. Guys, if you do like what you get here and it feeds you, you want to sow a seed, make a donation, it is greatly appreciated. Donation information is below the video. There's also links available for Cash App and PayPal. Other than that, remember, we are all perfectly imperfect. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye.